actually in the screen. Yep, right in the bullseye middle. And it's recording. I don't like it. Why? Because you're not smiling. Well, I'm not ready to shoot yet. <laughs> All right, so um, here is the, <laughs> however they like to pronounce that, Uvo. Uh, this was recommended by another uh, Club Frontier member, and uh, this is going to be the unpacking and inspection, and in a couple of minutes I'll get to the video on the installation. Um, this is nothing super exciting or super difficult. There's no drilling or gluing or anything, no welding required here. Uh, these are simply little um, rubber panels that drop into the various uh, storage cubbies uh, on the uh, interior of the truck and I thought that these were pretty neat because I'm I'm doing uh, uh, you know the uh, kind of red and black um, theme for for uh, trimming out and so I'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like when I get the package open alright so as you can see this is an incredibly complete kit here. I'm not even positive if all of these have a place to go in my particular truck because uh, I think that some of these may be for um, stick shift uh, or automatic um, and then uh, if you're crew cab or king cab but anyway like I said there's just a <laughs> plethora of things here. Uh, these are for the cup holders so you've got an insert for the uh, cup holder base um, when the drop-in is not being used. And then you have another one for your drop-in. Uh, these, I believe, are, I think are for the door pockets. These long ones here, uh, I believe, are probably for the lower door pockets. I'm going to have to get these out to the truck and start uh, comparing um, you know what the uh, what the shapes look like and, and where they fit to but uh, I think it's um, kind of an amazing deal uh, this was uh, thirty six dollars and change which is not a terrible amount of money and um, you can see here they're they're very flexible um, they don't have any adhesive on the back all right so the the rear here as it's cast has a little bit of a uh, silicon material type of feel um, which should keep these from sliding they, they feel like that when they're placed uh, I don't believe they're going to yeah they really do grip they're, they're definitely not going to uh, slide around which is um, obviously the the whole intent uh, you know for your coin holders and, and things like that uh, and also the uh, cup holders that when these are in place they're going to stay where you put them so um, people like to talk about the nice new car smell, uh, you know, which is basically a combination of uh, the carpeting and, and glues and, um, well, uh, probably leather, uh, hopefully if your interior is leather. And that's usually a pretty nice smell, although sometimes the carpet and glue not so great. But these definitely um, smell like industrial rubber. When I uh, popped open the uh, plastic, you could tell that uh, these had just come out of the sheet molder and got dumped right into a plastic bag ready for transport to their new owners. So it's not a, a terrible smell, but you can definitely tell what the material is that these are made out of, which is kind of funny. So give her a little sniff. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and install these, and uh, when we catch up to uh, the video here in a couple of hours, um, I will show you some of the parts in the truck and how they came out. Uh, it's probably going to need, uh, honestly, a little bit of cleaning first because I don't think that I'm going to put, say, like the cup holders in. Um, without cleaning out the cup holders well first because if your truck looks like anything like mine, it's not terrible you know it doesn't look like it needs uh, all the doors open and, and hit with a fire hose or anything like that but it probably could use a little bit of housekeeping you know it just seems to be the way things go you, know, you accidentally spill a drink or a little bit of coffee slosh and you're like oh well, I'll get to that later and you know later is later <laughs> so we'll see how these look when they're installed I will catch up to you in a few minutes Okay, so as promised, here is the second half 
of the cup holder and mats unveiling and so here is the mat cup holder insert and I take my cup holder drop that back in there you can see that the smaller diameter one that it also came with fits in there real nice you fade over here to the shifter and uh, <laughs> You can see that this uh, probably looks like a lot of people's um, truck coin holder. There's coins and uh, some extraneous little fasteners that have come from different projects. And I, I went ahead and kept the smaller hole of the two uh, clear so that you can see how the match just lays in there. And this is pretty nice. If you can see what I'm pushing here, it does move, but it doesn't move easily. It's not uh, one of those things where it's going to slide all over the place. Um, the back end is um, uh, like a, a semi matte finish uh, type of um, silicone coating so uh, these work out really nice the um, door panels are, are in place as well and uh, everything worked out worked out pretty good so let me show there there's my uh, <laughs> my tea from this morning now you can see how they just dropped in there real nice. Uh, that's my charging cable for my phone, so pardon that being in the way. But anyway, uh, so that, that basically gives you an idea of how those all work. And uh, all the door pieces and everything were um, very easy to install. As I said, there's no adhesives or uh, preparation necessary. Everything just pretty much drops in place. Uh, let me slide forward here a little bit. And uh, you can see the forward storage area which uh, I bet a lot of people can identify with this because your, your truck probably looks like this too. You got the microphone for the ham radio there and some other things in the way but uh, if you look underneath there you can you can see the black mat with uh, the red surrounding there and uh, it's very nice everything that I put in there has basically stayed put. I haven't had any trouble with anything sliding around. I think it's a, a nice little accessory upgrade. I had uh, done pedals as well. These were actually left over from another car that uh, humorously I never even got around to actually installing. And so they were on my shelf and they were free. So I went ahead and put them in. So I uh, got a little bit of you know, kind of red bling going on here. Uh, and if you watch the earlier video, I did the uh, brake calipers um, in a red and also the rear differential armor, uh, which I actually ended up uh, painting uh, using the uh, same brake caliper paint for the final coats uh, and then went ahead and uh, baked that paint to give it a nice finish. So kind of um, since it's a silver truck and it's just kind of uh, getting a little bit of a, a color theme together here. And... Uh, that's kind of what I'm staying with. So we're going to um, just continue from there. So uh, I hope this has inspired you maybe to uh, consider this as, as a mod as well. Um, like I said, there's really no prep. You basically just uh, probably want to clean your cup holders and, and door storage if you've got you know, schmutz in there like uh, most vehicles tend to accumulate unless you're uh, one of those people who cleans your vehicle uh, you know on a weekly basis or something of that nature and is very uh, super retentive about um, keeping it uh, showroom pristine but if it looks like a truck <laughs> as a lot of our vehicles do like as in truck and <laughs> quotation marks around truck uh, you might want to do a little cleaning first but um, after that they just drop right in and they so far seem to be working very good and uh, I am very pleased with the outcome. So, until next time, FG signing off.